This pasta will stay good for a year in your freezer. This dried linguine will outlast most marriages. And this will probably survive the next ice age. On the other hand, Contadina fresh pastas and sauces won't last very long at all. We make them fresh, and we keep them fresh, which naturally gives them a great fresh taste. Contadina fresh pastas and sauces. Our days are numbered, but we wouldn't have it any other way. One real estate company dedicated to helping people through a lasting commitment to excellence in performance. Richard James Realtors, the sign of success in the great Northwest. The Soviets are coming. So are the Chinese. The English, the Cubans, Aussies, and Germans the best athletes on earth. They're coming in 1990 to the Goodwill Games, and the world will be watching. Don't let the games pass you by. Visit any Ernst or U.S. bank for your ticket brochure now, before the competition gets fierce. Brought to you by Weyerhaeuser, a proud sponsor. Project Home Team is about all of us helping each other. If you'd like to help someone else, or if you need help, call the Project Home Team helpline, 448-3669. We've got to work hard and save some money. That from Governor Ruth Gardner today in his generally upbeat state of the state message. Gardner urged the legislature and the people to seize the future, to follow the example of pro-democracy forces in other parts of the like world. Like the people of Eastern Europe, we must work to tear down the walls between our own people in this state. Because for us, they are not walls made of stone or barbed wire. They are the barriers of homelessness, poverty, addiction, illiteracy, and fear. Governor Gardner proposes to spend Make some $400 million dollars worth of the budget surplus on schools, prisons, state. and welfare. And the governor said his goal is to build a state full of healthy institutions, healthy communities, and healthy families. While nationwide, our schools apparently need a lot of work. Reading and writing skills got a new low in grades today, not just an F, Try appalling. Federal testing reveals that more than half of American students just can't read or write adequately. Here's an example from an eighth grader. Well, food on the frontier, it ain't as good as food today because food today is like Coke or fish or ice cream or meat. That's how it different. So what to do? Officials recommend more homework, less TV, and restoration of valuable federal education programs, those cut back in recent years. Any NASA astronaut will tell you you've got to have a good education if you ever hope to blast off aboard a space shuttle, as Columbia did today. Three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia. A new Booster decade of space flight begins. The well, the shuttle's up there in orbit and in hot pursuit of this huge satellite. The mission? To catch the satellite and bring it back home. The tricky rendezvous and capture maneuvers are scheduled for Friday. There was more today in the bizarre and tragic case of Charles Stewart. He's the Boston man who first won sympathy after his wife and baby were shot to death, but then committed suicide when he became the principal suspect. Police today found a handgun right where Stewart's brother said that uh, he had dropped it in the river after the shooting. As to motive, police learned Stewart had cashed in one insurance policy on his wife's life. And now there's the other woman theory involving a 22-year-old who worked for Stewart. She says the two were just friends. In Seattle today, the return of a fugitive whose cover was blown by a television show. David Harry Fisher, back in custody and on his way back to prison at Walla Walla. He escaped from there 15 years ago while serving time for the murder of a 13-year-old girl. He made a new life for himself in this house, had a wife, three children. But then the NBC series Unsolved Mysteries broadcast Fisher's story and a viewer tipped Canadian police. The officer who brought Fisher back today said had it not been for the Unsolved Mysteries program, Fisher would likely lived on free and died of old age in Canada. Speaking of unsolved mysteries in the sports world, has to do with the Sonics on the road. Boy, it is an unsolved mystery. I think it's one Bernie Biggerstaff is scratching his head over. He can't figure it out. No solution. Huh? No solution. They certainly aren't road warriors, that's for sure. We're talking about the Sonics. Another loss on the road, this time in Houston. We'll tell you about that. We'll tell you about who made it to the Baseball Hall of Fame tonight. So stay right there. Don't go away. 
When he heard the news, he left in haste. Did